onto the copper board, I use magazine paper. Just a um, local supermarket magazine, pages are glossy. The only thing it'll transfer onto the copper board from when you print on this is the actual toner. So it's ideal. So we'll go ahead and place one of these over this image. So we know it's gonna print in the right place. So do the same for the silk screen layer. board up, get all, um, all dirt off, make sure it's nice and shiny. I just use the scotch pad. Um, and then it's putting this face down over that image. Make sure it lines up. This board's a bit smaller than what I need, but it's just an off-cut I've got for this video. It goes on there. And that rounds. I'm just using masking tape. That's it. Be transferred. Transfer the image onto the, uh, the copper board is this nail varnish remover or nail polish remover. It works absolutely fine. I used it, I used to use it on silk screen layer and just decided to give it a go on the copper board layer. Save all the time of ironing and heat transfer and it works. So let's give it a go. Make sure it's all spread out and rub fairly hard across all the area. If you don't apply enough pressure, then it may not transfer correctly on. I've done this a few times and enough pressure. There you go, and you feel it's starting to dry and that point I stop then. Just let it dry a bit. Transferred off the magazine paper. Straight into the cupboard. Now, when it starts drying, you will get a bit of white tinge, and that's just the, a few fibres of the magazine paper. All I do is just a damp sponge. Off. Like so. Ready for etching. Using ferric chloride, um, ready mixed. Um, I haven't had a problem with this. I know there's other ones out there, people make their own, which I wouldn't mind having to go off at some point, but that works for me. Let's put in a small dish. There's the board. Nice, pop it in.
but it's fully etched now. Uh, so just rinse it in water. On to the next stage. using no heat transfer method. See the silk screen layer now on the reverse. So all I've done on double-sided boards, I've never had a, a problem to be honest, time the copper's etched away, it's been a, a rough fiber board. Um, but on single-sided boards, I've had to just roughen it up slightly with a bit of um, wire wool, just give it a bit of a key to be honest. Um, so let's place that in there. bit of paper on it from the magazine but again just damp sponge water now you can use a little bit of nail varnish remover just to get rid of the, the black off the tracks um, or steel wool or whatever you want really to be honest um, I tend to use just a little bit of steel wool. It's a bit odd with one hand. Pretty robust. You can scrape your fingernail across it, it will not come off. A sharp object would bring it off, but a sharp object would bring anything off at the end of the day. I mean, it's, it's definitely good enough, I think, for a DIY person. And you get a, a fairly decent professional, professional job from it. So there we go. Off in a minute. And there we go. One etched board and silk screen board without using any heat transfer methods. The one I've just etched. So it is, it's only um, flashing LEDs. Nothing, nothing spectacular, just programmed from that Mega 3 to 8 chip. Cleaned up a bit better now. One's had two hands. You see all the tracks are really good on it. I'm happy. It's a nice and quick approach. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. 
give us a thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't, and any comments, please feel free.